What's going on guys, it's Colin here for Next Gen Tactics and I'm bringing you another Battlefield Bad Company 2 gameplay commentary and uh, basically what I'm doing is um, running around with an M95 sniper rifle with a red dot sight and the, <laughs> the intent of this video is is not to show the proper use of the recon kit or anything like that right here I get corner camped and uh, don't switch back to my primary and I wind up uh, almost blowing myself up with C4 before he takes me out but what I wanted to talk about in this video is uh, improving your gun skills. And this is something that I've struggled with personally. So I just wanted to show you something that I tried in order to improve my accuracy in Bad Company 2. And uh, also here, uh, practice in my C4 toss, which uh, works out quite well to get the, get the tank. But what I was finding is that, uh, you know, most often I run an assault rifle or an SMG. And in Bad Company 2, what you're not able to do is get roughly on target and start pulling the trigger and then adjusting your aim. The way that the recoil is modeled on the weapons, if you try and adjust your aim while you're firing, you're going to have a really, really hard time getting on point. So what I was trying to do here was simply get better at getting on target before I pull the trigger and acquiring my targets faster. Now, I think that uh, a couple of people suggested to me after seeing this video on my channel that I should probably try this with the four times optical scope and uh, they may be right but uh, I did find that this improved my accuracy and so when I picked up uh, newer weapons that I hadn't used in a long time and I used them after doing this for f the better part of an afternoon like a gaming session and my accuracy was improved so if I look at weapons like the F2000 and the PP2000 these are, are very high rate of fire guns and my accuracy is substantially better than it is on my other assault rifles and SMGs because I didn't really use them much before I practiced my aim. And one thing that I talked about in a previous video was you know, having the confidence to get into the action because there are a lot of players that are sitting back with uh, the longer range scopes on the sniper rifles. And I'm not sure if that's just because they purely enjoy sniping and they're not really interested in the objective. Right there was a pretty good quick shot or if they are uh, you know just simply not comfortable pushing up because when they engage in a bunch of gun on gun battles close to the objective they find that they're losing more often than not, than not and are getting frustrated so you know if that's uh, the situation you are in then trying something like this out to uh, to push yourself and, and try and increase your accuracy might be what the doctor ordered and when I'm sort of messing around and trying out different things, I like to do that in squad deathmatch because the only focus is getting kills. You don't have to worry about an objective, you don't have to worry about routes and tactics in particular, you can just kind of uh, put yourself in situations where you're in a gun on gun scenario and you, uh, you know, using a, a bolt action rifle, you either hit your shot or you don't. So, you know, um, I really did find that this helped improve my game. I'm not trying to show elite recon skills, I'm not very good with this kit. Uh, that's also something that I wanted to work on was just uh, getting the instinct to throw out the motion balls when I'm in particular situations as well. So, you know, the, the guys that I run with, I'm, uh, you know, I run with some guys that are beasts with the recon kit, so I don't pick it up very often. But when I do, I just, I don't have those instincts to toss the, toss the motion balls. So if I'm running recon, uh, typically I'm not a good teammate, and I do want to improve on that. Now, if I was doing this in an objective game type, I would probably pick up one of the all-kits weapons, whether that's... Uh, you know, the M14 or the G3 or maybe one of the shotguns, depending on the size of the map and, and the nature of the quarters. So, you know, if it's a CQB map, I'll pick up a shotgun. If it's a longer range map, I'd probably go with uh, the G3 Red Dot or the M14 and, uh, and go from there. Because one of the most useful gadgets in the game, if used properly in core mode, is the motion ball. And one of the issues with sitting way, way back and sniping is you simply don't have the arm strength. Uh, your video game character doesn't have the arm strength to throw that motion ball as far as the objective in order for it to, to be as useful as possible. So if you're running the recon kit and you're not pushing up far enough to get those motion balls into position, then you, you're probably too far back, especially in rush mode. So you, you, you want to think about that. If you're not able to, to spot out all those enemies, then you're doing yourself and your team a disservice. And, you know, there's a lot of points to be had as well. If you're trying to rank up in getting the, uh, the motion mine assists and the, and the squad motion mine assists. So here you can see I'm just trying to push the pace and, you know, get that one shot on target. I, I'm trying to pick fairly close quarters battles. Uh, right here is a fail. I was trying to detonate my C4, <laughs> switch back to my gun, and this guy made a, a really good play to take me out. So, as I said, lots of deaths in this game, and you can see that uh, I, I'm trying to improve. But, you know, I didn't want to show off some flashy quick scoping game because I don't have it. <laughs> 
And, uh, you know, I, I want to be honest about trying to improve and, and, you know, how good I am and how, or how good I'm not at this game. And, and I struggle with my accuracy. And if I have a few sessions where I find that I've lost too many gunfights that I feel I should have won, then, uh, you know, I'll do something like this out in order to just get my aim back on track. The, uh, the side effect as well is that it helps you become much more comfortable with your sidearm. So you can actually see that a lot of times I'm taking one quick shot with the M95 and then I'm sw switching out to my pistol. And, you know, that's always a good thing as well when, uh, when you're comfortable with all the weapons in your arsenal. So, you know, when I run the assault kit, um, uh, unless there's a lot of vehicles, uh, you know, I'll typically run like the M1911 is the gun that I'm working on right now. And it's important not to, to waste too many shots with that one. And, you know, right here you see I acquire this target quite quickly and take him out. So I'm getting, I'm getting better slowly. And as I said, you know, it, the proof is in the pudding. I look at my statistics and for the, uh, for the weapons that I never used until recently after doing this, the accuracy is a lot better. Now, a lot of that's experienced through playing the game a lot, but it also is, is because I, I focused on the areas of weakness in my game and, and tried to improve on them. So whether or not you're a newer player or a veteran player, you can always benefit from something like this. Now, right now, it's towards the end of the match, and I actually pick up the, uh, the AK-74U. I'd cut this off, but uh, I, I guess I'm, I'm just not done talking yet. <laughs> but when you pick the game up, if you are struggling... Uh, a lot of folks will fall back to the recon kit and they will sit back too far and snipe and and you know if if you're having fun doing that that's okay you know you've bought the game you can play it how you want but if you want to you know really improve and get m the most out of the experience then you want to push yourself and put yourself in situations that you were previously uncomfortable with and if you do that over and over and you manage to work through the frustration then eventually you're going to get a whole lot more out of your gaming experience and and that's really the point of you know why I'm making this video is to help you guys get more out of this game and and you know, become more competitive and keep coming back for more so that everyone who still enjoys playing Battlefield has a competition to play against. This game has a lot of life left in it, and after going to Vietnam and back and forth, I find still things are very fresh and new, and I, I always like trying out new things, new weapons that I haven't uh, checked out in the past, so that's why I'm actually going through right now and working on getting the Platinum Star, which is the reward you get for getting a thousand kills on a weapon. I'm working on doing that for all of my assault rifles, and then I'll go through and work on the submachine guns, and, and then we'll see where it takes me from there. So, you know, I don't mind showing you guys games where I'm trying to improve and where I'm improve on something that I struggle with so you know plenty of kills 29 for a squad deathmatch that's great but also a lot of deaths because I'm running around with a bolt action so anyway don't be afraid to try new things I think that you'll really get some enjoyment the game will become fresh and new again and everyone will keep coming back for more that's my hope anyway because I really do love this game cheers guys we'll talk soon hey guys we're on Facebook Check the description of this video for the link to our new Facebook application. Subscribe and get our latest video updates posted right on the wall on your own Facebook page.